Refresh is asking, oh, and this is going to light, this is going to fire Armin up. Do you think authoritarian works in the short term compared to democracies when socioeconomic situations in countries turn really bad? You know, that's kind of like asking, um, can I live a luxurious life in the short term if I put everything on my credit card? Right? Like, I mean, the answer is yes. <laughs> okay. But you're not going to like the effect of that long <laughs> in the long term, right? Uh, there are things that the dictator, like authoritarian governments can do that looks pretty impressive in the short term. Uh, but the structure of governance is so flawed that in the long term, it's not going to be, um, but, you know, it's not going to, like, that's why you shouldn't get wooed by the fact that, like, China, could, like, in the United States, they have to spend, like, decades just deciding whether they're going to have a train between these two cities, while China just, like, oh, here are the trains, right? You might, like, people are like, oh, look at this, it's so impressive, they just, they just decided to have trains, and now they have it. Um, so this thing, like, democracy sucks, I guess, let's have, like, t like, this is so much better, right? But like, oh, just wait, just wait, just like long, longer term, democracies outperform um, authoritarian governments, right? Um, I mean, this is the same thing that people were so impressed with Adolf from Germany. I'm not going to say his last name, right? They were impressed with his autobahns, right? But look at what happened to Germany because of him. People were impressed with Stalin's um, high production and high growth in economy in the short term because you when you have a command uh, uh, up down um, uh, planned economy you could and you could just order people to increase production in a certain sector then in the short term it's going to look very impressive you're going to be like oh my god you just like you could just m demand that we have this many tanks and there will be this many tanks and you could just demand the farms to produce this much grain and they just have to produce this much grain so it's just going to look very impressive in the short term and the economy is going to go like seems like it's like picking up like a rocket in the short term but the longer term they fail like planned economies for you to have such short-term effects you need to have planned economies planned economies means authoritarians getting telling the private sector what to do um in the long term that's going to backfire massively right so we you, we always see like if any anybody that see gets impressed in the short term, just tell them to go look at the history of economies that were planned, from from the up down planned economies. Just go look at them. Just see what the long term effect of that is going to be. By the way, I'm not saying China uh, is going to be a different story. By the way, because China started like from such a low at, at such a uh, low starting point because nobody has ever in the history of mankind managed to have a worse economic plan than Mao, right? Like the number of people that have starved to death because of Mao's economic plan, like you can, this guy has the record of the worst economic plan in the history and starving the highest number of people to death just because of like stupid economic plan. And because China started off from that and because the guy after, uh, what's his name so it ends with the pang g something pang right the, that guy when he opened the economy of china to the world the um it, because it started with such a low such a uh, low point and because of how good that decision was to free china's economy um china's economy skyrocketed to, in such an in, in, insane way that it was unimaginable to the whole world, right? Just opening the door, like letting uh, capital to just flow into the country, right? So that was a good thing. But now when we have uh, Xi Jinping in power, he's undoing that. He's bringing planned economy back. He's bringing control back. But, that, what, but because the Chinese economy has been unchained, what this is going to do is going to reduce the growth to some extent, but it's not going to stop it. Okay. So what we're going to see probably in the short term is going to be some bubbles bursting, you know, Evergrade and the tra train stations that might those, but like you, we're going to see some crashes in the Chinese economy, maybe, but overall long-term Chinese economy has been unleashed and long-term is still going to grow. Maybe it's not going to grow as fast as it used to, uh, but it's still going to grow. Okay. Um, and you, you know, Anyways, planned economies fail, and even if they don't fail, um, they will just slow, uh, it will slow, slow progress. Yeah.
Hey guys, if you're a fan of Blasphemy and Sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest Blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our Blasphemy that we continue to send you more Blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.